Bitcoin is like digital gold in many ways. Bitcoin has a limited supply of 21 million, but gold on the other hand, you don't exactly know how much gold there is on Earth. Once Bitcoin miners have unlocked all the Bitcoins, the planet's supply will essentially be tapped out. So far, 18.6 million of Bitcoin has already been mined, which means only less than 3 million has not been introduced into circulation. Well, we all know Bitcoin is scarce, so that's what makes it increase in price. Some even even say Bitcoin will eventually hit 1 million and I do think it's possible, which lead to another question. What will happen to Bitcoin once all 21 million are mined? Well, if you want to learn more, do keep watching. Welcome back to my channel guys, it's Jenny here. Before we start our journey, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Without further ado, let's dive right in. While there can only ever be a maximum of 21 million Bitcoins, because many people have lost their private keys, so the actual amount of available Bitcoins in circulation could actually be millions less. While it's true that majority of Bitcoins have already been mined, the timeline is actually more complicated than that. Bitcoin mining process rewards miners with a chunk of Bitcoin upon successful verification of a block. However, the reward decreases over time. When Bitcoins first launched, the reward was actually 50 bitcoins. In 2012, it halved to 25 bitcoins. In 2016, it halved again to 12.5 bitcoins. And the last halving occurred on 11th of May 2020. The halving will occur every 210,000 blocks mined, which is roughly every four years, which is practically less than four years. Mathematically, the final bitcoin will be mined around 2140. However, it's probably gonna be earlier than that because, as I just said, halving occurs in less than four years. As the ASIC miners keep getting better every few years, maybe better hardwares in the future, so the block rewards are happening sooner than 2140 for sure. But I do think miners will still likely to keep mining even after 21 million are mined because of the following reasons. First, miners are rewarded with the Bitcoin they make verifying transactions as well as the transaction fees from the users. If you have done a transaction on blockchain before, you probably know that when you transfer transfer Bitcoin, you will have to pay a transaction fee. And that transaction fee is actually going to the miners in order to compensate the hard work they put to make sure you have as many coins as you say you have. Bitcoin transaction fees are also higher than other cryptocurrencies since the block time is 10 minutes, which is extremely slow, which also means users have to pay a higher fee in order to get the transactions verified quicker. And I do believe that these fees will increase significantly once the last Bitcoin has been mined, as the number of transactions on the blockchain and the price of a Bitcoin will also rise because of mass adoption. And since Bitcoin is gradually reducing energy cores and using greener energy, it could also mean that mining will remain a profitable endeavor. There's actually statistic backing it. In December 2017, the transaction fee spiked to 1500 BTC at the time, when Bitcoin was only valued at $14,000. As a result, miners earn a total of $21 million in transaction fees that day alone, which is currently half of what they earn from the block reward today. The second reason is that Bitcoin network work itself is likely to change significantly between now and then. Considering how much has happened to Bitcoin in just a decade, you know, new protocols, new methods of recording and processing transactions, a change in protocols in the future is not impossible. It's very likely that energy will become cheaper and energy will become more efficient in the coming decade. Or it could even switch to a more environmentally friendly consensus mechanism like proof of stake or layer 2 solution and the Taproot upgrade is actually a compelling evidence of this. Taproot upgrade will enhance the network smart contract functionality as well as introduce some privacy features. This is significant not just because of the specific changes Taproot will introduce, it also shows that Bitcoin's use cases are constantly evolving and that itself is a valid proposition. In other words, if you think Bitcoin is a powerful technology now, just wait because Bitcoin will surely be improving over the years. If the mining process further develops and improves to the point where it's easy and cheap, this process can also be turned into another business. On the other hand, Bitcoin mining is a process that many jurisdictions 
considered to have an adverse effect on the environment due to its high energy level consumption. If Bitcoin mining's energy efficiency improves in the future, miners can consider securing the network and stay in business. That reason is because institutions are accumulating Bitcoin. We all know Michael's strategy is the public company that hosts the most Bitcoin on the balance sheet, followed by Tesla and Galaxy Digital Holdings. We are now entering a phrase where institutions and countries are buying Bitcoin. PayPal, Visa, Mastercard and possibly Apple. So miners will have more and more incentive to mine Bitcoin. Even if miners really do stop mining after the last Bitcoin has been mined, I think all these institutions who bought Bitcoin will not hesitate to step in and mine their own Bitcoin. And if less miners in the market, it also means higher transaction fees. So mining will not stop. Remember too, Bitcoin has come from nowhere in the last decade to be talked about as a serious alternative to the more orthodox currency we trade on a day-to-day -day basis. Given the years before Bitcoin miners facing the reality of its finite capacity, you can expect that new methods and new protocols will inevitably make the market unrecognizable to the one that is currently operating today. So there you go guys, do you let me know what's your take on Bitcoin mining in the future, if you think mining will ever stop or institutions will start mining their own bitcoins if this video helped you make sure you give it a thumbs up share this video anywhere on social media and i'll see you very soon